Well, 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 there has been some serious drama going on, so here's all the goss. Puma are to be sued over Rihanna's Fenty University collection. Riri's brand Fenty is under fire by brand Freedom United for supposedly copying their logo. The Fenty University Spring Summer 17 collection, as well as the rest of the Fenty range, was a huge success, and Freedom United are stopping at no cost in pursuing the lawsuit. They claim the FU initial logo is copying their own and are seeking for Puma to hand over a full accounting of how much cash Riri made from her. FU line. Who knew that you could own letters of the alphabet? Next up, Miley Cyrus has retracted an apology from 10 years ago. Talk about throwback. The singer took to Twitter, captioning a historic pic of a near nude 15 year old Hannah Montana as, I'm not sorry, f you. Hashtag 10 years ago. The tweet was grouped with a run of other QAF throwbacks of the Disney star. Cardi B is being sued by her former manager, Clenard Raphael, aka Shaft, for $10 million. Yes, Barty Cardi has been accused of breaching her contract and defamation. Shaft's rep has said, Since discovering Cardi B in 2015, Shaft has played an integral role in developing her music career and public image. While he is proud of their successful collaborations as she evolved from Instagram influencer to music megastar, Shaft is disappointed by her actions to freeze him out of her career. On December 16th, 2017, Cardi texted Shaft, I'm not with you no more, you dead ass. Doing me, grimy. Even with the lawsuit in motion, Cardi B is showing no signs of stopping doing her. She released her debut album, Invasion of Privacy, featured as a musical guest on Saturday Night Live, and performed at Coachella Festival for two weekends running. John Legend has texted Kanye West telling him to call it regarding his Trump tweets. With the world already raising an eyebrow at his tweet form recently, trusty Ordinary People singer John Legend stepped up and dropped a quick message to Mr. West, hoping he'll reconsider aligning himself with Trump. Yeezus posted the convo screenshot on Twitter and it looked like a possible feud about to be blown up between the two. Kanye replied, I love you John and I appreciate your thoughts. Ah, doesn't seem too bad. You bringing up my fans or my legacy is a tactic based on fear used to manipulate my free thought. Yeah, it wasn't the clearest reply. The convo was brought to an end in a matter of a few texts, with John replying, since you're posting texts, let me add that I have a new single out. Always time for a bit of self-promotion. The pair were together at John Legend and Chrissy Teigen's baby shower and partly continued the political conversation. Chrissy jokes on Twitter, honestly, what's a baby shower if you don't faintly hear a passionate discussion about North Korea whilst opening gifts? Yeah. Sounds like it was one to remember. So everyone's talking about Kanye's new lease of Twitter life. There was this tweet and this tweet and that tweet. But wait a second, hold up. What about Kim Kardashian? The reality star just tweeted, Twitter is such a better place with Kanye West on here. But is it a better place with Kim's nudes? Because fans are kind of over it. It feels like we're at a tipping point in society. And basically, if you're not semi-naked on the internet, are you even on the internet? And despite throwback nudes from saucy Victorian painters and uh, my grinder, Kim Kardashian pretty much single-handedly started the 2018 trend of being butt naked online. Scroll Kim's Insta way back and it's all family holidays, sisterly love and afternoon teas in London. How do you do? But then in winter 2014, Kim got thirsty. Thirsty for likes. Kim dropped her dress and her closet days were numbered. When you're like, I have nothing to wear, lol. Yep, Kim is hashtag liberated. But now fans have had enough leaving comments on her Insta saying, I really don't want to see her naked constantly. We've seen everything Kanye sees at this point. And shocking what people do for attention nowadays. I'm no hate, but seriously, why do people want to see this? And as a mother, you should have some respect for yourself. Rude. Here's another. Some may think it's porn. Others see art. She making money either way. Kim responded saying that she wants to do sexy shoots like this while she still can. And as a 37 year old at her hottest ever, I feel like we should give the reality star a break. And anyway, if Kim did decide to put her clothes back on, she might spill noodles down her gown and that ain't ever coming out. VidCon is coming to London. That's right, the Viacom owned video creator event will be hitting the Capitals Excel Center in 2019 with dates now being released. Smart your calendars is busy between February 14th to 17th. Yes, we know it's Valentine's Day. But let's face it, the event will be filled with ones you love. Previous talent in attendance includes Tyler Oakley, Dan and Phil, Miranda Sings and Grace Vanderwall. So you know VidCon will deliver when it comes to panels and speeches from your digital face.